Okay, Ruler, settle down. Ruler School is brought to you by Odyssey Games, where you can go to get pre-orders of all the upcoming Force of Will sets, as well as releases of previous sets after they come out. CCGprime.com with over 100,000 Force of Will singles, as well as out-of-print boxes from the past, and TCG accessories, as well as FowlLibrary.com, a wonderful resource for deck lists, article discussions, and more. Check them out at FowlLibrary.com, as well as these amazing patrons. Special thanks to guest lecturer patrons Shu Kong Fu, Vite Ramen, and Maxime Van He. Thank you for your support. Class is in session. Hey the rulers, DMO73 here. Wanted you to just give a quick little opening review of the two starter decks here, the Asuka starter deck and the Aristella starter deck to kind of show you what they look like. These things are tiny. They are super tiny, but they cut off the fluff and we just get straight into the cards. Now right inside, as we dig in here, you have your little cheat sheet, quick guide, play mat as usual, and then we get into the cards themselves. Now keep in mind that this is Aristella, uh, not Aristella Twin Prince, although it has the effect that gives it the same name. Essentially, is this is designed to be a intro version of Aristella, so if you're new to the game, it's designed to not really overwhelm you with Bond 2, just get Bond 1, so that you can kind of try it out. So we have Aristella here, looks... Absolutely fantastic. Comes with a Children of the Water Moon. Four copies of Fairy Tale King. Nice, nice. And then one of each of the cards in foil. So we have Birth of the Twin Princes, Phantasmal Hair, King's Dragon, Warhorse, Charge of the Fairy Tale King with the proper cost in the upper left corner, the Marine of the Twelve Secret Knights, Phantasmal Dormouse and Phantasmal Mad Hatter and Cocoon, and then your extra spare copies of each of the other things. Then you get some wonderful uh, two each of the basic stones in foil and then foiled out, life point cards and everything else. One thing to note is that the deck only comes with 40 cards, and normally these guys have an ability where you want to be able to start the game with a Cocoon from out of the game. So what we actually recommend is Talk to your store or a friend if they picked up uh, one of these, which is just a normal, what we've encouraged our store and given Odyssey to give out to players, is just a single copy of Knight of the Phantom Moon. It is a normal rare in the set and can easily take the place of one of your cocoons, so that at the start of the game, as you're trying it out, you still get access to a cocoon. So that's something to kind of consider. Overall, the packaging is sweet, it's nice and straightforward, and uh, the deck itself feels very, very fun to play. Going from there, we have the Asuka starter deck. Same kind of thing. You have your little basic pieces here. And then we get to go in to the deck. Open it up. Sometimes it's hard to find these tear strips or get these cards open, I apologize. Maybe, there we go. Enough to be able to pull it off on the back. Once again, we start with Asuka, looking fine there, and Child of the Darkest Moon, four copies of End of Night, and then one each of the foils. Now the exclusives in this deck are the Flash from Behind and the Tree, Soul Spirit. Those are the exclusives within the starter deck. So then you get a full playset of everything. Now for this one, same thing. We recommend there's a card in the set. It does come with a hero token, which is nice, right here at the end. The card that we recommend from the set that's a normal to pick up to put in so that you have a cocoon, so stores keep in mind this or give your extras to the store, is the Lore of Tsukiyomi. Just as a single copy for the card, uh, it works really well enough as a nice little normal, gives you a taste of other pack stuff, and helps it so that you can start a cocoon from outside the game. So those are the starters, pretty straightforward, uh, and now to kind of, we're going to have a full match here. Um, on the channel that's the full breakdown of game you know one two three uh versus the two starter decks seeing how they play but to keep in mind this video we'll take a, a single game to show you a little bit what what each starter plays out like and then encourage you to watch the full match um, with commentary to see what you think from there so there you guys have it thank you guys so much and uh, enjoy the match okay so i am playing the osaka starter deck and tyler over there is playing Arstella. so See how this goes. I got a five. We got an eight. I will certainly be going second. 
So we'll take out our solar coin. Or the Oscar coin. <laughs> Uh, you want to hand me the life total there? Thank you, I'll track that. Thank you very much. So then... So it's not that it super matters. And back. Thank you. These where they need to go. And then we do mulligans from there. Opening handed mulligans. Oh, would the cocoon trigger be at the before mulligan or after? It's after. It's at the beginning of the game. And because you're going first, yours will go on the chase first, and then mine will go on the chase first. So mine will resolve first, and then yours will resolve. <laughs> Gotta love beginning of game shenanigans. I'm gonna mulligan two. One, two as well. Sounds great. And now... Beginning of game triggers. So Aristella will trigger, and then Asuka will trigger. Asuka will resolve first. I get my uh, my cocoon. You get your cocoon. Then your cocoon triggers. And you get to draw a card. And then we go into main phase. All right. Tap. Sounds great. Lightstone. Nice. Play Warhorse? Warhorse. Give, give something swiftness. Give itself swiftness? That's great. I'll take four. Get it on to 36. Ask you. Draw for turn. Um, let's get my first recovery phase. Call stone with Dark Moon Child. Get a green. Um, and I will play. I will filter using the Moon Child into black to play Boros, the Watchdog. Uh, and then I don't have swiftness, so I will pass from there. Go ahead. Draw. Untap. Tap your stone. You got it. Water stone. Just go. One yellow, one colorless. Sure. Rabbit. Rabbit. We'll put dog at the bottom of your deck. That's unfortunate. There he goes. No response. You'll get in for four again. Um. Yeah, that's fine. I'll take another four. Well, cool. Yep. It's back to you. Yep. Drop turn. Uh, moves to recovery. Mm -hmm. Uh, Costum with Darkness Child. Um, attempt to use Paramita to mill the top two. You can mill the top two. And two. Uh, zombie comes into the field. Yep. Uh, zombie trigger to mill two. Yep. One, two. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use coin and two to play Death Speaker Monk. Yep. I'm going to target Boros to close. Well, what's my hand? Yeah, Boros to come back to my hand, remove the tree from the game, and get a hero token. Yep. Good. Okay. And the hero token is right there. Whee! Uh, and then pass. That's all I got. Draw. On the tap. Child for a stone. Go. White and the blue. White and the blue. For Mad Hatter. Ooh. Um, no response to cast of Mad Hatter. Alright. It'll trigger his ability to give something to 1-1 one -one counters. What would you... What are your... What's your target? Well, it's only one. It's just March Hare, right? Yeah. Because it's, it's another fairy tale you control. It is a fairy tale. Yeah. So... No response. We'll go to an 8-8. Eight, eight. That is an 8-8. Eight, eight. We will go... Combat? Sure. We will swing eight at you. I will move to block for eight with Death Speaker Monk. I'll use uh, her ability to filter. Sure. Her white. And Bird the King to give it four four in barrier. Uh, I'll respond. Yeah. So we'll put that in the chase here. 
build it. I will respond by tapping this mm -hmm. to play the mastery of um, a flash from behind, because it's a hero. Uh, give it minus 20, minus 20 until end of turn and draw a card. You also get to target something else with this, by the way, to give it plus four, plus four, and I think precision. First, uh, one of them's barrier, one of them's precision, yeah. So you can also give the horse precision. Give it four, four precision? Yeah. Uh, it will resolve. Okay. Draw a card. Uh, your horse still gets 4-4 four, four in precision. And then the block fails, because the attack's gone. It will go and swing into the zombie. How dare you! That's fine. Yeah, cool. That's acceptable. Back to you. Drop turn. Mm -hmm. uh, move to recover. Yep. Uh, I'll call stone with black. Um, attempt to move into combat. Combat has been entered. Uh, eight with Death Speaker Monk at you. I will take eight. That's 32. Uh, it will be blocked by the cocoon. Take zero! <laughs> uh, attempt to kill that cocoon by swinging with uh, the other eight. <laughs> to finally pop it. Well, we will take the eight and it will pop. It has been popped. Let me read cocoon real quick just to make sure. Uh, if 900 or more damage was prevented by this ability, this turn destroy it. Yep. yep. So, great. So, even though I dealt uh, eight, you tank all eight. Yep. And then it's gone. Um, cards in grave is four or three. Uh, attempt to use Paramita again to mill two. Mill two. Okay. There's that. Um. I'm going to use Black Moonchild filter to pitch Death Speaker Monk to mill three. Yeah. One, two, three. Zombie comes in. Yep. Zombie mills. Mill another two. One, two, another zombie. Zombie mills. Yep. One, two. Okay. Um, well, that changes what I'm gonna do here, um, pretty significantly. Uh, I'll pass at that point. Alright. Draw. Tap. Okay, 11 cards in the yard. Moonchild for a stone. You got it. You're so, Well, you might still have it and just haven't used it yet, but no contracts yet for either of us. There's a lot of hatters. Um, Go to put two counters on the other hatter. You got it. Cool. cool. He's a 9-9. Nine, nine. He is indeed a 9-9. Nine, nine. And we will go to combat. Sure. And swing 9 at that speaker model. And I can't block it. Um, but what I will do is I will use Filter of Moonchild mm -hmm. to go from green into black. Uh, and because I have at least seven cards in my graveyard, Soul Spirit only costs me one. Mm -hmm. uh, and then if this resolves, he'll have an enter effect that I can use to prevent the damage from that hatter for the turn. Right. We Does will respond. To the cast or to the enter effect? To the cast. Perfect. We will activate the God's Art of Mad Hatter yes. to bounce the hero token. Okay, he's gone. There's a token, so it disappears forever. Okay. And then it will resolve. Enter resolves. And we will respond to the enter effect. Got it. I played a Godzart Godzart this turn. It only cost costs one. one. Yep. To cancel the automatic or the You'll want to, just for the sake of it, because your stones aren't moon protection entities, you want to use it, this is more for the recording's sake, because he can you'll want to use the moon child's will production ability oh, to filter yeah. into blue to then So it would be You can even use a blue into blue, yeah. it's fine either way. Just for the sake of people watching, yeah. because it has to be played with the will from that yeah. to cancel it. And that's fine. I have no response. That's good. All right. Um, and then then before damage, yep. I will pitch Watchdog to give him minus four, minus four. Yeah, minus four, minus four. So it'll be nine down to this five. So my eight, eight. With... 
Tauros on the chase. Last wheel available. Sure. We'll play another Earth. Okay. To give, give it 4-4 four, four barrier. Uh-huh. And I played both of these this turn, so... 4-4 four, four precision. Four, you got it. My dog, my monk, no. It's good. And what is the stats on the tree? Eight. Is it eight? Yes. So we will just go to hit a zombie. And I will block with the tree so we trade. Yep. Tree tr uh, horse triggers, you gain a thousand. Yep. Go up to five thousand. Okay. We'll pass there. Drop a turn. Move to recovery. Really would like a contract. <laughs> I have cost them. Um, I will go ahead. I can't even attack the Hatters. That's the worst part about it. Um, filter into a black. Play another zombie. That's the last zombie. That's the last one. Enter effect to mill two. Yep. That's unfortunate. And that's unfortunate. That's okay. That's okay. We're gonna, we're, we're fine. We're fine. No way we're gonna. Um, uh, move to combat. Yeah. Combat has been entered. Seven at you. I can start actually doing some damage. Seven at me. I will take the seven. Take the seven down to 43. Um, I will pay one. Yep. And I will play a Moo Moo Tribe, who yep. is going to be a 4 4 because I have one addition. And then I will swing for another seven. I'll take another seven. Down to 36 to my 32. And pass turn. Alright. Draw. Yep. Untap. Yep. Both of us still have our Moon Children God's Arts here. Two one cost fairy tales, or one two cost fairy tale, or With one cost names. and a zero cost. Or... They do have different names, though. That's true. They have to have different names. So we will grab the bunny. Okay. And we will target the Moomoo tribe with the enter effect. Put it on the bottom of my deck? Yep. Sure. Great. Off cut. No worries. Cool. cool. will go to combat sure. and swing at one of your zombies. How dare you? Understandable. Then we will uh, swing at you for seven. Take seven. Cool. Then we'll swing life. We will just hold it there. Sounds good. Drop turn? Yep. Okay, game. <laughs> um, Callstone. Yep. Uh, use a filter from Green Moon Child to make black. Yep, yep. Play Adventure. And sure. then use these two. Play another Adventure. Uh, and then attempt to move into combat. You're in combat. Seven at you. Oh, uh, we will take the seven. Down to 29. And then another seven. Uh, we'll take another seven. Down to 22. Mm -hmm. And then at that point we pass. We will... Only have one stone available. One stone currently. available currently. Yes. We'll play another one of her. Just to put her out? Yeah. To put her out. We will go to my turn, draw and hunt tap. You got it. Tap. Tap your stone. And 
and they can give themselves swiftness, precision, first strike, or baned. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, we'll go and kill another zombie. I will use the filter of a moon child to pitch a Boros to give it minus four, minus four. We will once again. <laughs> so many of these cast birth. Uh, four, four barrier and. Four for precision. Um, we'll respond by God's Ark killing it with black. God's the Ark killing the, the bigger one. Kill the bigger one. Yep. Yeah, the one that's currently attacking. Yep. He's finally gone. He's finally gone. All right. Now with my other bigger one, we'll go to kill the zombie. You got it. If only the zombies had pain, but they'd be too good. <laughs> Alright, and we will activate the gods are to produce one blue. You white. got it! Oh, that last card in hand. Finally found it. Finally found that cast contract. contract. Yeah, what would you like to bounce back to my hand? We will target one of the adventures. How dare you? Understandable. And I will draw a card, then contract. You got it. Now that your uh, Moonchild Gods Arc is out of the yeah, way. Yeah, might as well. Yep, it was a good use of it. Yep. Flip over. Yeah, he just flips over. Yep. Right. And then you get to go search for a fairy tale. Search for a fairy tale, and all fairy tales get 4-4. Four, four. So right now, this is getting 4-4. Four, four. Yes. So he's a 10-10, ten, ten, and these are both 6-6s, six, right? Uh, yes, these are humans. Yeah. We will go and grab another Mad Hatter. That comes to hand, yep. Will white and the blue? Yeah. Cast the Mad Hatter. Cast the Mad Hatter. Understandable. Have a nice day. Target the yeah. dude. Yep. We will go to hit the zombie. Uh, sure. You got it. And what are the stats on the six game? seven? He's a six seven. So he's a little bit bigger. Uh, we'll go to swing for six. I will block seven or oh. block with six, but get a body off board. Then we'll go to swing at him again. And yep. Sounds great. Really would like to draw my contract right now. That'd feel really good. We'll pass it up to you. Draw for turn. That ain't it, Chief. <laughs> that, as they say, is not it. Okay. Custom. Um, these are going to look familiar. That's an adventurer. Here he is. That's another adventurer. Um, gosh dang it. I don't love how big these are. How big is he? He's an 8 8. He does say other. Okay. Um, pay 400 life, go down to 21. Alright. Give this guy swiftness. Pay another 4, go down to 17, give him precision. Yep. Uh, attempt to move into combat. Combat has been entered. Attack your fairy tale king. So he is. Currently a 6 7, swinging at your fairy tale king. Uh, no responses. I will pay another four, go down to 13 total, to add uh, Bane to my um, swing. And we will respond to that by bouncing him with a God's Ark. Uh, you only bounce your own stuff. It is bounce your own stuff? Yeah, it is bounce your own stuff. You control, it's true. Um, we will trade. Trade it is. Um, and then I'll pass there. All right, we'll draw. You got it. On tap. Man, just did not see. If the next card's a contract, we're good. We're good. <laughs> but we need to get there first. Tap your stone. Yeah, you got it. With the blue. Dormouse. Dormouse is good. Little God's Art to draw a card. You got it. Oh, he's got another one! With the contract I played last time, I drew into another contract. Oh, that'll do it. That's gonna be game. So, uh, I have a removal spell for one of these, but you bounce this and I can't block. So, yep. yeah. Two more. Game two. That's fair. Okay. I will go on the draw. You're good. 
Two down for me. Also, sounds good. Beginning of game triggers. Draw a card. Yeah, you got it. All right, rock it out. Draw a stone. Easy ability to filter. Yes. Play yourselves a horse. That's a horse. Give himself a horse. Yep. Two four. Back to you. Sweet. Draw turn. Let's get my first recovery. Call stone. Black stone. Play dog. Pass the turn. You got it. Yeah. Stone. You got it. Use the ability to filter for a blue. Sounds good. For a blue. Charge! Charge. Charge is good. Rabbit. 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 We'll bounce the dog. It goes to the bottom of my deck, it right? It does. Uh, sure, that's fine. You will get in for another four. Take another four. Down to 32. Go back to you. Drop turn. Cover. Yep. Yep. Uh, use Paramita. Yep. Mill two. Zombie enters. Mill another two. Yep. Okay, great. Um, coin for green. Mm -hmm. Filter for green. Pay one. Death Speaker Monk. He's speaking. Bring Monk to hands. Remove this from the game. Yep. And get a token. Feels much better. <laughs> Pass the turn. Draw. Tap. You got it. Stone. This says one or less. Yep. We will go to play another charge. Second charge is good. Don't we grab a rabbit. Okay. Targeting this. Target the hero token. I will tap it in response yep. to do flash from behind to give this minus 20, minus 20 and draw a card. He will respond. Okay. By tapping Aristo to play. Sure. Burr. Yep. Give him a barrier. Get that precision. I still get to draw a card though, which is yep. nice for me. Having cards in hand is always good. And then the token goes away. Yeah. We will go to swing for uh, 10. Oh yeah, because it's a 6-6. Six, six. Uh, block a zombie. Yep. Then we will swing for 8 at Death Speaker Monk. Trades. You gain 10. Yep. You got it. And we will filter. Sure. Play a Dormouse. Dormouse is good. Pass it to you. Draw for turn. Yep. yep. Move to recovery. Call stone with um, Moonchild. Yep. Okay. Um, use Grey Black. Mm -hmm. uh, play um, Knight of the Legendary Vampire. Yep. Targeting your active Dormouse and your active heart hair in your dormouse. I'll mill three, or I'll kill them, mill three, and then at that point in time, I'll have more than five cards in graveyard, so I will be able to contract. Yep. Okay, so you kill these two, oh, mill uh, three. I will draw a card. Uh, once this mill, everything else finishes resolving, this still has to fully resolve before. Yep. So your draw will go um, end of night, and this will go on the chase at the same time. End of night is gonna just target um, Death Speaker Monk. Yep. To um, be reanimated as my putting on the chase. Yep. So um, summon, then mill, and then your draw card. So your draw card goes first. Draw. Yep. Uh, cast. Yep. Uh, 
target the other Death Speaker monk, and I'll remove from game the other zombie. He's done his job at this point. Comes back into my hands. Zombie. Yep. Nil two. It's another zombie. Nil two. It's another zombie. Nil two. Wow, that was quite the uh, <clears throat> quite the swarm there. Quite the chain. Yeah, and then I'm contracted. Um, oh, and then I do have another hero token back because of this speaker book. And so then from there I pass the turn. Draw. You got it. Grab some stone. Yeah. Bad Hatter's good. Two counters. Yep. Well then. She has Drain and Bane. She just has Flying. Just Flying? She's a flying 710. to play his god's art. To produce some will. We'll produce a white. Yes. And we will tap for a blue. Sure. We'll go to contract. Target for contracts. The hero token. Why would you do this to me? Um, use the hero token in response to do flash from behind target March Hare. Yep. Or, sorry, targeting Mad Hatter, because it's the better card to hit. Yep. Uh, the token is bounced and it's gone. Draw and contract. You got it. And I will go to enter combat. Uh, don't forget to do your search. Oh, yep. And also don't forget for, for this one, just to kind of show off for the camera, as you're searching, you can go grab a horse. That is something I have yet to do. He does play himself for no cost. Yes. And I have no response to the horse cast. We'll attempt to give him swiftness. You got it. We'll go to combat. Combat's good. And we'll swing. For... Build. Wow, that's a lot. I will block with a zombie. Zombie blocks. Um, thinking. Yep. I will pay one black. And flash in Soul Spirit and attempt to prevent all the damage from this turn. Pay white? Sure. Or bird. Give it 4 4 barrier and then 4 4 precision. I want to spawn to that with God's Art to kill Fairy Tail King. Fairy Tail King will be killed. Right. So then he'll go down to being an 8 8, get another plus 4 plus 4, and then my zombie dies. And we will pass turn. Drop turn? Yep. We have to recover. Uh, cost on? Yep. 4. Uh, attempt to move into combat. Combat has been entered. 7. Take seven. Negated. Seven. We'll take the seven and it will break. It just pops. Seven. We'll take another seven. Down to three. There's 43. Um, eight. Take another eight. Okay. Down to 35. Uh, eight at your march hair. Eight at the hair to trade. Mm -hmm. Forward. Yep. And press the barrier, I'm assuming. Yep. Um, so it'll go up to being a 12. It'll go up to being a 12. Yep. Uh, I'll respond. Yep. 
I will do just a regular flash from behind to give him a minus seven, minus seven. Yep. So he will get, um, go down to being a one, one, gain four, up to being a five, five. This is still enough to kill. Yep. One more chair. And then I will pay two. Mm -hmm. uh, and I am going to do, um, I'm going to cast a Knight of the Legendary Vampire targeting my own uh, Asuka. Yep. I'm not going to target your horse because I don't want you gaining life right now. So I'll mill four or kill Asuka and then um, for those at home, Asuka will be dead. This will flip over and then we hit the sentence that lets me contract so I can recontract. Yep. So this dies. This flips, and then immediate, uh, mil, sorry, mil four. One, two, three, four. Recontract. Yep. Ah, okay, and now I can cast four costs worth of stuff from either graveyard. From either. I'm gonna target your Phantasmal March. This guy. Uh, and I'm gonna target... Um... Do you have any one drops in there? Do you have a horse in there? I uh, should have a Dormouse and a horse. I will grab the horse, and I'm going to grab my Boros as well as the casts. These are all... You can choose how they enter. Yep, so they're going to go in this order. Um, put this on the bottom of your deck so you don't gain life. He doesn't have an effect. War Horse. Uh, it's going to give end of night swiftness, yep. and then swing in for seven. I'll take seven. Down to 28. And then pass the turn. Draw. You got it. Tap your stone. Dormouse. Dormouse is good. White and a blue. You got it. Or a Mad Hatter. Give him plus two. Yes. You will filter one of them to do a white and a blue again. Sure. Or another Mad Hatter. So many Hatters. All good. And we'll pass it there. Sounds good. Draw. Recover. A lot of things that can attack. Call some? Yep. Uh, combat. Yep. Seven in the air. And nothing back flying. Down to 21. Uh, seven on the ground. Um, yeah. Don't see myself getting out of this, but we will block. Trade. Uh, seven on the ground. We will block with nine. I will use one black to do attempt to give minus four minus four with Boros. We'll respond with the God's Art to balance Death Speaker Monk. It goes to hand? Hand. Right? Okay. And I remove your graveyard. Which you can't because of Paramita. Yep. Great. Um, so then that kills. Um, eight. I'll take eight. Down to 30, uh, 13? Mm -hmm. uh, 4 with Bane. Take 4. Down to 9. Um, and then I will use Black Green. One card in hand, right? One card in hand. I will cast Silence of a Dark Knight to force you to banish a Resonator, and I gain 6 life. Go back up to 38. And also that I'll draw a card. Yes. Swing with Fant, uh, March Hare for six. Yep. And then swing with War Horse for four. That's it. That is game. Good stuff. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, this is uh, DMO73 and Tyler having some fun with some starter decks. These are really, um, really fun to play. Uh, very clearly have some things that you can, we showed in this kind of second game, some fancy stuff that you can do, uh, but there's a lot of cool intricacies to it, um, and also some very clear 
ways that they can be improved by picking up the product. But overall, uh, a lot of fun. Would you agree? I would agree. Yeah, for sure. So go check them out. Pick them up. Um, I believe Odyssey still has them available. So check the link in the description for that. Otherwise, give them a shot and uh, look forward to more complete versions of these lists in the coming weeks. So until then, this is us signing off.